Hi everyone! So I just made a multi-layered hammock for my mischief. I found this really cute Marvel Comics fabric at Joann's and after washing it, um, I finally got around to making something. My rats love their hammocks. They do prefer certain types over others. The beehive honeycomb hammock is one of their favorites and I thought I'd give it a shot at making my own. This video isn't going to be a tutorial. I'm a complete novice when it comes to sewing and I don't think the way that I did it is necessarily the best way. So instead, I'll just briefly go through what I did and at the end of the video, I'll include any changes that I would make as well as reference materials. So to start, this is the bottom piece. I cut a 15 inch square out of my flannel fabric, the one with the marble print, and snipped off the corners. And then I placed the right sides of my flannel and my fleece together. The fleece that I'm using is just a solid colored blizzard fleece from Joann's. And the right side is a lot more plush. Also, I prefer trimming off excess fabric after I sew the two pieces together. This is probably not the best way, but it works for me. I sewed the two pieces together leaving a gap along one edge so I could flip the fabric inside out. I made the stitch kind of far from the edge so that I can go back and do a zigzag stitch because flannel frays very easily and in my experience, an overcast stitch to the flannel itself just didn't cut it. I don't know if my girls are being too rough with their hammocks, if it's my washing machine, or if it's just the quality of the fabric itself, but my flannels fray really badly even when it's tucked in on the inside. So I'm hoping that zigzag stitching the flannel to the the fleece will help prevent freeing. This is the back, the fleece side. See the gap a little better. I added a zigzag stitch as close as I could to the first stitch. And here's the back. Now I'm going to trim the excess fabric, keeping as close as possible to the edge of the zigzag stitch, but making sure not to cut into the stitch, otherwise it would just unravel. And I'll be using my handy dandy rotary cutter and someone else's ruler. I left some extra fabric for the gap to make it easier to fold. In hindsight, I think I left a little too much fabric but well, you live and learn. All right, so I flipped it inside out. If I was making this for a friend, this would be the point where I take out my iron and press, especially the sides for a cleaner, flatter edge, which also makes it easier when I go and top stitch along the edges. I'm gonna tuck this back in so that when I top stitch over it, it'll be stitched closed and I don't have to go and slip stitch it, which I'm terrible at and don't enjoy doing. Here's my wonky top stitching. I've added an X to the middle so that the layers don't shift and bunch up in the laundry. So that's the bottom piece. I did the same for the middle piece, which was an 11 inch square, as well as the top piece, which was eight to nine inches, also a square. Only the bottom piece has the corners trimmed. The top and middle pieces have their corners intact. And lastly, to assemble the layers together, I just sewed the trimmed corners of the bottom piece to the sides of the middle piece and then the corners of the top and middle piece together. So this is a final piece. I actually had to hand stitch the corners because it was too thick for my sewing machine. Uh, like I said, I'm a novice when it comes to sewing. This part was done using my sewing machine, but I think the stitch length or tension was too small or something. I also added ribbons so I could hang the hammock in their cage. Blue ribbons because my second favorite Avenger is Captain America, although he's pretty close behind the first, which is kind of obviously Iron Man. Improvements I would make the next time I make this hammock would include playing around with the sizes of the layers. I'd probably make the middle layer a little bit bigger. Also, I'm still figuring out what works best for me when it comes to preventing the flannel from freeing. Zigzag stitching the flannel to the fleece made the edges really thick, which is fine if it's just a simple one layered hammock. But since I was attaching multiple layers together, it was hard on my machine and I would prefer not to hand stitch if I can help it. I might play around with where I attach the layers together or add the ribbons to the side of the top layer instead of the corner. But overall, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I'm definitely gonna be making more in the future and I'm super excited about putting my Marvel superhero cage theme together. I found a PDF online called Tutorials for Common Rat Hammocks and Accessories by Vonda Z. The link will be in the description box. I've used that tutorial for many of my rats' hammocks and I definitely recommend checking it out if you're interested in making your own hammocks for your raties. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's kind of long. If you have any questions, comments, or requests, you could post it below. But yeah, thanks for watching.